What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Asakura, the one who never knows best. And in today's video, I'm doing something that's a little bit different for me, and that's because it's an educational video that's going to serve as something that I think will help some of you guys elevate your game. Now, look, I'm not the greatest second player in the world. I'm definitely no Nier, no Arsenal Ash. I'm no Speed Kicks. I'm no FDX either when it comes to teaching people and being like a coach or anything like that. Even though I do get asked for stuff like that, I just don't think I'm necessarily smart enough, knowledgeable enough, or good enough to really offer that type of service on a regular, consistent basis. But there's a technique that I use a lot in fighting games that I currently use a lot in Tekken that is a game changer if it's something that you're not already aware of. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys about frame traps. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because it's something that I use a lot and that I get a lot of mileage out of both in quick match, rank match against the homies, against whoever, right? It's something that works at every level of the game. And if you learn how to do it with your character, it'll potentially get you a lot more wins and just make you an overall better fighting game player. So first and foremost, before we get into anything, what is a frame trap? Well, I'm glad you asked. If we jump over to the fighting game glossary, which by the way, I'll leave a link to this website in the description down below and maybe also as a pinned comment as long as I don't forget. But a frame trap is two attacks back to back that leave a very small gap between them. The gap will be shorter than the defender's fast attack, which means if they try to attack with a normal, they will get counter hit. Finding effective frame traps requires some basic understanding of frame data or finding a good YouTube tutorial that has done the work for you. You'll usually be looking for an attack that is plus on block, which lets you attack before your opponent afterwards, then swinging with a fast attack that traps your opponent who foolishly thought they could swing themselves. Frame traps aren't foolproof though. You can usually continue to block and you'll be fine until your opponent gets pushed out of range. Or if you're feeling risky, you can try to get through opponent's attack with an invincible reversal, which doesn't care about your opponent's pesky frame advantage. So I'm going to demonstrate to you guys uh, some examples of frame traps, and then I'm gonna go into some matches and try to show you uh, how to use one you know, in actual gameplay. Let's jump back over to the game and let's go into training mode. And I'm gonna pick my character, which is Huarong. Uh, I know some of you guys aren't huge fans of that character, but that is my main and that's the character I'm the most familiar with. But I'm gonna show you with a couple other characters as well, but I figured I might as well just show it uh, with him first. So we're gonna use uh, Huarong for this example and then pick Kazi. It doesn't really matter who you're gonna do or who you're gonna use. Uh, but yeah, so as the glossary put it, a frame trap is two attacks that are done back to back that have a very small gap between them that trap your opponent if they try to push a button. So you want your first attack to be plus on block and your second attack to be fast enough that even their fastest move will not be quick enough to beat the plus frames and they'll get counter hit and you'll get, you know, the reward of whatever that move is. So the example I want to show you guys is one that I use very, very commonly with Wadon, which you might have seen if you've ever watched me play the game against any of the homies or on stream or whatever the case may be, right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set the computer to stand block, okay? And then I'm going to set his action after blocking to do a punish. And what we're gonna do is set the punish um, to just do a one, uh, to just be a one jab, right? So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna block and then we're just gonna have him do his one jab, okay? The reason why we want him to do his one jab is because that is typically the fastest move in the game. There are a few rare exceptions like Ling Back One, I believe, and Yoshimitsu Flash. But for the most part, most characters fastest move that they can do is gonna be their one jab, which is 10 frames, okay? We're gonna record that movement, and now you will see if I have Kazuya block, he then tries to do a jab after. Now, Huarong himself is a character with access to like multiple different stances and like mix ups and pressure, whatever, and lots of uh, plus frames as well. And you know, there's other characters that can do this as well. Uh, he's just my main, so it's easy for me to show him this way, but I'll show it with a couple other characters. Uh, but from my flamingo stance, right, my jabs are plus. And if you look in the bottom left corner over there, you'll see that after he blocks, I'm actually plus five, you can kind of vaguely see it there. Um, but yeah, before he attacks back, I'm plus five. Now with Huarong, my favorite thing to do after I get them to block this jab is actually a down four too. So you're low key getting some Huarong counter player, some knowledge if you didn't already know about this, right? Um, so something I like doing a lot is I'll do down four too. Now, why do I use down four too? Well, for one, it's a safe on block launcher, but also it's 15 frames. Lots of characters in this game have 15 frame launchers. A lot of them are also down four twos. Um, but in this situation, right? Even when Kazuya does his fastest attack, what's gonna happen here is that the worst case scenario is that we trade, okay? And when we trade, he's gonna get launched, I'll get hit back a little bit, but I'll still be able to convert it into a full combo. So to demonstrate that here, we're gonna go to Flamingo, jab, down four two, we trade, and I still get the combo, except I drop it because I'm trash. There we go. A, A, A. 78 damage off of a frame trap, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, obviously that's gonna vary depending on the character you play and what stage you're on and everything like that. But all that from a frame trap, and you saw how much health he just lost, right? Like let's say for example, I set him to do uh, like a down forward one, okay? I think Kazi's down forward one is like 15 frames or something if I'm not mistaken. Right, so 15 frames, okay? So obviously a much slower move than a 10 frame jab. Go ahead and set that recording. And now if we get him to block, he should be able to do the down forward one after the fact. All right, cool, and now, you see that there's no there's no trade. He's just getting straight up counter hit, and he 
he explodes for it. You know what I'm saying? So this is a very effective tool, a very effective like strategy, a technique that you want to utilize uh, with your character. Um, and so you want to figure out how to uh, enforce some sort of plus frames with your character. Now, I'm not going to say that every single character can do this because I don't know if every single character can do it, but a lot of characters can. And I'll show you some examples of some other characters. So quickly, let me just go ahead and get um, let's go ahead and get out Victor real quick. Victor is a very popular and easy character. And uh, something that you'll see a lot. This is something that you might already be doing yourself. You might have copied it from another player, you might have discovered it, or maybe you don't, right? Um, so what you want to do with Victor, for example, right? The quickest way I know how to get plus frames with Victor is using his while running too, right? That move is also, funnily enough, plus five on block. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to. Oh, I, I haven't set the punishment technique yet. So let's go ahead and set the punishment technique to um, whoops, uh, to just just back to being a jab, okay? All right, so there we go, 10 frame jab, okay? Now, Victor also has this move right here. 15 frame counter hit launcher, okay? Safe on block as well. So again, really powerful tool to, tool to use uh, where you won't get punished if you're wrong and your opponent doesn't push buttons. So same theory as before, we're plus five, this move's 15 frames. The fastest move he can do is 10 frames. What's gonna happen here is he's gonna get counter hit and then he's gonna you know, be in that counter hit animation from that launcher and I'm still gonna get the full combo off it. So running two, boom, counter hit launcher, nice. Uh, now I don't remember the combo here. Uh, I guess I could just do like A, 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 yeah, something like that, right? I, I don't remember the Victor combo. I've been playing Victor lately, but it, you, you, you get the idea, right? Uh, so this is something that plenty of characters can do. Uh, lots of characters in this game have very powerful running moves, and a lot of characters in this game have like some sort of like counter hit launcher. And even if you don't, you can just pick another option, whether it's, it doesn't always have to be a launcher. Obviously, like using a launcher is, is good because you get a large reward. And with a character like Victor, or like in the example of with Huaron with his down four two, those moves are also safe. So you're not gonna get punished for being uh, wrong uh, on expecting them to uh, mash, or if you just, if they're just patient, right? Uh, but you could also do something that's a lot safer, like a down forward one or your own just jab. Uh, something that's also good, like let's say you're playing like a Mishima or someone like Reyna, for example, uh, your plus. Uh, so matter, matter of fact, let's just, I, I can just show you because this is something I also do with Reyna. Because um, Reyna has access to plus frames as well. Uh, so let me just go to quick select and I'll show you. Uh, I did, <laughs> this right here got me from God of you to Mighty Ruler by itself, okay? <laughs> so many players eat this. So many players eat this, okay? So Reyna, as we all know, is also a character with like mix-ups and stances and plus frames. And the most important stance or state, I guess, that you could say that she has is Sentai. This move right here, right? From this move, you get so many follow-ups. And you know you can also get this off of forward forward two. You also get this off of her one one two. And uh, it's it's very, very powerful. Something that's important to note, uh, sorry, is that she has a move that is plus on block here. So if I just go straight into Sentai, which you can just do with forward three and do the four option, that move is plus four on block. So uh, one thing that I did a lot when I was playing the character uh, for a couple of days and I was grinding from like God to Mighty Ruler is that I would just do uh, this right here. So I'm just going to set them to uh, stand, whatever. Uh, then we do punish, punishment settings. Once again, we're just going to use uh, the 10 frame jab. So we can even just do one, one, two. It doesn't really matter. All right, cool. Record. And so now if Kazuya blocks this, he should try to one, one second. Uh, or plus four, and he tries to do one, one, two, right? Um, before he's able, even gonna be able to get that one, one, two out, we're gonna do our own one, one, see that it hits, confirm it with the two, and then rinse and repeat. So I would do something like this a lot, where I'm not, normally what I would do is this would be after my own one, one, two, or after forward two, but for the sake of the example, and just making it easier, I'm just gonna do Sentai four, just straight away, like this. And then he's trying to mash there with his jab. I do my one, one, I'm plus four. So that moves is based essentially like it's six frames, right? <laughs> and uh, they, they can't interrupt. And now you you get your one, one, two punish into Sentai stance, into rinse and repeat. You can do whatever you want. You could go back into plus frames. You could do the, the high kick. You could do the mid, the, you know what I'm saying? Just, just so on and so forth. You can go into the unbreakable throw, which they have to duck. And then once they start ducking, you hit them with the mid. You can stop the Sentai and then do something else. You know what I'm saying? It's a very, very powerful tool. Frame traps will take you a very long way in Tekken. And if you're somebody who's struggling a lot in the red ranks in particular, I feel like frame traps are something that if you could, if you add it to your game, it will help you elevate it quite a lot and help take you to that next level and probably help get you to the purple ranks. It's something that I don't see a lot of red rank players do.
So I've given you some examples. So what we're going to do now is actually go back to the main menu. And I'm just going to jump into some quick matches real quick with Huarong and just try to give you a, a demonstration of me using that technique or that method, that strategy uh, in real time. We're going to do the exact same thing that I showed in the example where after they block the jab, I'm going to do down four two, and then you'll see how many times uh, it works. Now, obviously, I'm at a decently high rank, so players aren't going to be falling for it as much, but it is still effective against players of all levels. And you'd be surprised how far something like that can carry you. Like I'm Bushing rank, so I might get matched up against other blue rank players or like a Tekken King, Tekken God, whatever. Uh, but we'll see, because like I say, it, it works on everybody and not everybody is going to know your character's frame data and strategies and everything like that. And it's something that if you use too much, obviously, eventually they will catch on and they'll try to adapt or they might stop mashing as much. But and until that happens, abuse it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to work with what you got and keep, keep using it until it stops working. Get ready for the next battle. All right, so we got a battle ruler, Nina. This is actually one of my least favorite matchups. Nina's not a character that I'm that great at fighting, nor do I like dealing with, but she probably feels the same way about Wano. So let's go ahead and get into it. So let's just go ahead, start, start getting in. Off rip, just like that. <laughs> just like that. Right away, they got hit with the frame trap. They tried to sidestep. Nice duck. And they, they immediately got hit. Very first sequence of the game. I whiffed, good stuff. I hate the way Nina moves. It blocked at that time, that's a whiff. You punish those. Hey, 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 hey. Is that gonna be the kill? It was not. There we go, we close out that round. But you already saw it, it was the very first sequence. I, I forgot to even mention that good frame traps like that will also stop people from being able to step and things of that nature, and uh, you're still going to get those those big rewards. All right, getting a little bit more defensive. Nice low. Ooh, I stood right up into that. I didn't break the throw. I'm trash. <laughs> I need to continue on with my throw break uh, training. Ooh. Nice, nice, nice. Well played, well played. Ooh, they got a little bit of a back dash to look like to a hole. Let me find out. Another thing too, I'm noticing is that this player is not really ducking at all. So I guess I just have to commit to the down three four because they they are they are very reluctant to duck at all or try to block low. So yeah, and that time they just tried to mash through it. Nice step. Ooh, good duck. That was really good. I'm going to heat burst here to try to interrupt that. All right. Go ahead and close out this game. <laughs> Not gonna be the greatest example of I lose. Well, it's still a great example. You, you saw the way the, uh, the interaction went exactly how I wanted for the very start of the match. But hey, oh, that drops. Why did that drop? Nice. And there we go. We close out that game. We close out that game. But you saw, you saw. The very the, the the very first thing I did was I, I had them block that jab. They tried to step, hit them with that down four two, and there wasn't really a whole lot that they could do. I'll go ahead and give them the run back. There it is again. Oh, I dropped the combo though because I'm trash. Something worth noting here and something worth noting in this video in general. There there are two things. So first and foremost, what you'll see here is that they actually got hit by that two jab from my flamingo stands, which leaves me even more plus than if they blocked it. So for me and for the situation that I'm in, the strategy that I'm trying to use, this is even more favorable because they got hit and still tried to mash, which is all the more guaranteed that they were gonna get hit by this down forward too. Now, depending on the character you, you play, you might have to make better adjustments because depending on the move that you're using, they might get knocked back or immediately get thrown into the tornado state or whatever the case may be, right? And you're gonna have to make the adjustments in order to convert that into better damage or a better situation, Oki, whatever the case is. But something else I didn't point out that I would like to note is that I feel like in my experience and in my opinion, the most powerful frame traps are you following up with some sort of mid after your plus frames. Mids tend to be some of the most powerful moves in this game. And if your character has a, a powerful like counter hit launcher or like a, a safe launcher or something like that, or even just like a chunky mid that does like 40, 50 damage, anything like that, that's not too slow. Uh, those are more often than not going to be like your best bet 
to use as a frame trap in in my opinion and in my experience you know what i'm saying obviously you can use lows you can use highs as well uh, in huarong's case uh my down four two is a mid but it doesn't launch people who crouch so the reward i get if they try to duck isn't that great and that's something else is that if you're using a high your high might just get ducked if you're using a low your low might just get blocked and of course your mid could just get blocked as well but in, in you know like i said I, just in my opinion the mids are usually more worth it that with punish i could have killed there it's all right we still get the perfect but <laughs> Uh, but yeah, man, this is something that has worked at every level of the game for me so far, and it, and it continues to work even at higher levels. You know what I'm saying? Frame traps are. I want. I don't know if I necessarily call them fundamental, but to me, that is a fundamental part of fighting games and something that, if you're not already doing, you need to add it to your game. Figure out how to get plus frames with your character, and then find out what types of moves you have that net you a good reward for using those plus frames. Nice. Hey, that's not the kill. You don't spring kick. No, that was supposed to be back three. It's okay. It's not okay. I, I tried to do down back three and I got back three. That's unfortunate. I sold. I'm still not that great of a fighting game player myself. Nice step. This connection is not very good, but I've never fought a Nina with a good connection. So actually, Something I just did, that you see these rollback frames? There, there it is again. <laughs> a good thing that killed, because I definitely dropped the combo. Something, another frame trap I use a lot with Woe is uh, after that while standing 4-4, right? So I forget off the top of my head exactly what the plus frames are, but it is plus obviously on hit. But for whatever reason, a lot of players I fight, they try to mash after eating that. Um, So I do down forward two a lot there as well and get a lot of counter hits that way. Uh, fortunately with Warren, uh his down forward two doesn't have to be a counter hit in order for it to launch. But it doesn't launch crouchers, so. Okay, hold on, hold on. They movement kind of. Kind of. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. This connection is terrible, but they, you know, that's just par for the course when you're fighting, Nina. Hey, hey, hey. Better take you back to the wall. There we go. We go ahead and take the set. Um, but yeah, like I said, after the while standing 4-4, a lot of players I fight, they try to mash there for some reason. So I use down 4-2 there a lot. Something that I used to do a lot with Huarong and Tekken 7 was actually use this forward 1 plus 2 because that was a counter hit launcher. And it was, it was a very similar situation to like what you do with Victor with his 1 plus 2. I would have plus frames, you'd do 1 plus 2, like after doing something in Flamingo. Uh, it's this move right here. And you would get a, a counter hit launch. It's not a counter hit launcher in this game anymore. I think you still, it's like plus 13 on hit if I'm not mistaken. So if I just set, let me just turn on counter hit real quick. It's just easier to show you. It's plus 14 actually. So I get this guaranteed, you know what I'm saying? It's a heat engager. This is 13 frames. Obviously I get the mix up after now I'm in heat, whatever, and start my pressure. Um, But uh, yeah, it doesn't give you full combo anymore. It's, it's still really good. It's still really strong, but something else in general to keep in mind is that like I said before, like I was using launchers as examples just because it shows you a really large reward. But the move that you're using doesn't have to be a launcher. It could be something that just gives you like really big plus frames or just even just gives you like a little bit of guaranteed damage. And you'll, you'll figure out more as you explore your character. Like, OK, this nets me this type of reward. This is like I get a big reward here, but there's some risk involved. This is safe, whether it hits or gets blocked. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that you're going to have to do on your own. Or like maybe you can just look around and look up frame traps for so and so. OK, like frame trap for Kazuya, frame trap for as you're saying, or whatever the case may be, right? Um, honestly, this is something that a lot of characters can do like with their heat smash, because obviously a lot of heat smashes are plus on block and you can just do like a quick normal or counter hit launcher after the heat, after the heat smash gets blocked and that'll be your mix up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of players I fight, they tend to go for like, you know, unsafe on block launchers or like much riskier moves than what they have to. And like, sometimes you have to take those risks. In context and nuance matters depending on the match that you're in, the player that you're up against, the character that you're fighting, the character that you're using. Um, but yeah, that, that's a that's a quick way that you can start figuring out how to frame trap somebody yourself is just if your heat smash gets blocked. OK, what are some moves I can do here with this frame advantage that I have now? Obviously, depending on the character you play, you might have like a low heat smash and it might be really negative and actually punishable on block like uh, Victor's heat smash or I think Lee's heat smash, Kazi's heat smash, um, Reina's one from her Heaven's Wrath. But uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much the video for today. I'm not sure how long this video ended up being once I edited it down because it's like tw uh, around 20 minutes of recording, but it might be shorter than that once I finish editing. But I just thought that this would be a cool, helpful video for a lot of people. Um, 
And like I said, it's a technique that I use a lot and it's gotten me a lot of mileage and it'll probably get you guys a lot of mileage as well. Uh, but with that being said, that's pretty much where I'm going to wrap things up for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all the awesome content I'm bringing you. With all of being said, that's pretty much all today. And remember, let's get happen to you swing the bat. Later.